an illusion. I'm sorry, this confusion's driving me mad inside. The world as we know it is about to end. The world as we know it is about to end. David Icke. Thank you. Thank you. Let me get this story right. The press claim that you claim to be the son of God. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Yes, you see, the thing is that uh, you see, it's, quite, it's quite funny, really. Reptilian humanoids which play a prominent role in fantasy, science fiction, ufology and conspiracy theories. The idea of reptilians was popularised by David Icke, a conspiracy theorist who claims shape-shifting reptilian aliens control the earth by taking on human form and gaining political power to manipulate human societies. Icke has stated on multiple occasions that many world leaders are or possessed by the so-called reptilians. Michael Barkham, a professor of political science at Syracuse University, who classified classify conspiracy theories into three categories, event, systemic and super conspiracy theories persist. That the idea of reptilian conspiracies originated in the fiction of Conan the Barbarian, whose creator Robert E. Howard first brought it out in The Serpent Men, which was one of Howard's old stories from the Shadow Kingdom, published in Weird Tales in August 1929. This story drew on the theoretical idea of lost worlds of Atlantis, Lemura and particularly Helena, with its reference to dragon men who once had a mighty civilization on the Lemurian continent. According to British conspiracy theorist David Icke, who first published on this theme in 1999, The Biggest Secret, tall, blood-drinking, shape-shifting reptilian humanoids from the Alpha Draconis star system are now hiding in underground bases, are forced behind a worldwide conspiracy against humanity and are working to destroy our world world as well as kill all humans. He contends that most of the world's ancient and modern leaders are related to these reptilians, including the Merovian dynasty, the Rothschilds, the Bush family and the British royal family. Ike's conspiracy theories now have supporters in up to 50 countries and he gives lectures on crowds of up to 10,000 people at £50 a ticket each.